IMPOS is a project in which an artist and a team of scientists from Leiden are trying to make the world's first female semen. So throughout history, semen has been revered as a magical substance, a kind of totem of literal but also symbolic potency. Patriarchal societies have described semen as divine, as equal to ten drops of blood, as a drop of the brain, and as that which sows the seeds of virtue in the female soul. So Impos as a project is trying to rewrite this cultural narrative. It is trying to use art and science together to undermine and disrupt the patriarchy. Impos is being developed in three strands. The first strand, which is being developed at Leiden University Medical Centre, is to make spermatozoa. So those are the actual sperm cells, the cells that kind of look like tadpoles. And that I'm doing with Professor Lopez. So what we're doing there is starting from my stem cells, altering their sex, altering their chromosomes, and then trying to get them to differentiate into the cells that make the cells that make sperm. That's a long project. We've um, amazingly received a 1.5 million Vici grant to fund five scientists to do that project over five years. And we are in the middle of that process at the moment. The second phase of the project is to make seminal plasma. So this is the liquid part of semen, the jizz, the goo, the gunk. Um, and that we have done at the Kursnikova Institute in Ljubljana. Um, and what we have done is we've effectively created a recipe for seminal plasma, for artificial seminal plasma, that includes all of the important ingredients in natural seminal plasma. However, we have replaced one ingredient. So the main source of protein in our seminal plasma comes from the donated blood of multiple women. Um, so donating to the project becomes a collective act, a kind of act of um, anarchy or an act of protest. And I'm interested in that because I think there is a great history of collective feminist art making. So instead of this being my semen, it becomes our semen. The third strand is how all of this gets contextualized. So I wanted to find a way of celebrating female seminal plasma, female semen, female sperm. And I've done this by contextualizing the project with an ancient Greek festival called the Thesmophoria. So the Thesmophoria was the largest festival in the whole of ancient Greece. It was for women only, and it was a fertility festival. Nobody knows what happened in the Thesmophoria because men were forbidden from knowing about the rites. What I've been doing is reenacting Thesmophoria festivals every time we make a new version of our female semen with different groups of women around the world.